celebrating 75 years of service to education balbharti public school chapter 2 computer inside the system unit hi friends have you ever seen inside the big box kept near the monitor let's study what this box contains system unit system unit is a box like case that stands near the monitor some system units are also placed below the monitor system unit is the most important part of the computer system it protects the internal electronic components from damage it is also called computer case the electronic components and most of the storage devices of a computer reside inside the system unit other devices such as keyboard mouse monitor printer speakers etc normally occupies space outside the system unit components inside the system unit components inside the system unit include motherboard cpu memory disk drive power supply and ports motherboard a motherboard is a large circuit board inside the system unit it is also known as system board or main board it holds many electronic components such as the processor cpu and main memory it also provides connectors for other devices such as mouse keyboard and monitor cpu just like your brain controls every part of your body the computer also has a brain which controls its every part that brain of the computer is called central processing unit cpu all devices that are connected to the computer first communicate with the cpu in order to carry out a task cpu is also called processor or microprocessor speed of cpu the speed of cpu is measured in megahertz mhz or gigahertz ghz the faster the speed of the cpu the faster the computer can operate the speed of cpu is increasing day by day memory ram and rom as we all have memory that helps in remembering the things computer also has a memory which remembers many things by storing data inside it memory in the computer is measured in bits and bytes computer memory usually consists of one or more chips such as ram and rom on the motherboard ram random access memory RAM is called the primary memory or main memory that stores data and instructions temporarily in the computer. When you start the computer, certain files get loaded from a storage device such as a hard disk into RAM. These files remain in RAM as long as the computer is running. The program or work you execute on the computer also gets stored in RAM temporarily till the time the computer is running. RAM is a volatile memory. It loses its contents when the power is switched off. For this reason, you must save all items you may need in the future. Saving is the process of copying data from RAM to the hard disk. ROM read only memory ROM is the read only memory from which the information can only be read as the name read only suggests the data on ROM chips cannot be modified ROM stores data or instructions that need to be permanent its contents are created at the time of manufacturing and cannot be changed it helps the computer to get started 
ROM is a non-volatile memory that means its contents are not lost when the power is switched off. Disk drives Disk drives are used for storing data, instructions and information for future use. Some drives are also used for reading information. Hard disk drive, CD-ROM DVD drive and Blu-ray drive are the drives fitted inside the system unit. Hard disk drive The hard disk drive is used to store data and information for future use. Most computers have one hard disk located inside the system unit. CD-ROM or DVD drive A CD-ROM DVD drive reads information stored on compact discs, CDs or DVDs. Blu-ray drive A Blu-ray drive reads information stored on compact discs, CDs, DVDs or Blu-ray discs. SMPs Switched Mode Power Supply Many personal computers plug in standard wall outlets which supply an alternating current AC of 115 to 120 volts. This type of power is unsuitable for use with a computer which requires a direct current DC ranging from 5 to more than 15 volts. The SMPS converts the wall outlet AC power into DC. There is a fan built into the power supply that keeps the power supply cool. Adapter Cards An adapter card is a circuit board that is fitted in the socket on motherboard. It enhances the functions of various components of the computer. Some popular adapter cards are Sound card connects to speakers or a microphone. Video card provides enhanced graphics capabilities. Modern card connects to transmission media such as phone lines. Network card provides network connections such as to an Ethernet port. Nowadays, all the latest motherboards include all necessary capabilities and do not require adapter cards. Some motherboards may require adapter cards to provide capabilities such as sound and video. Ports Ports are a number of holes and slots into which you plug in computer devices. In a typical desktop computer, the back of the system unit contains ports. In a laptop, these ports are on the sides. Ports at the back of system unit, power port, USB port, HDMI port, monitor port, network port, speaker port, microphone port. Ports at the side of laptop, card reader port, network port, monitor port, HDMI port, CD drive, speaker port, microphone port. Popular ports Monitor port, microphone port, HDMI port, USB port, speaker port, desktop power port, laptop power port, network port.